Hello guys, so I'm gonna take you guys on my shopping journey today. I'm going to the grocery store. So follow me, let's go in and shop for, for us to cook, right? Let me There's the grocery store. I'm going. this beef See, I'm home now. Woo. You struggle to get these groceries upstairs while you're recording is real. But I'm home now and I'm going upstairs to get cooking. But first, before I start cooking, I'm gonna um, go take a shower because, like I said in my previous video, um, I'm a biologist, I work in the lab. So I'm definitely playing with chemicals and all this kind of good stuff. So before I cook, I need to take a shower. Make sure everything is good. And then I'll get cooking. And then I'll show you guys everything along the way. So I'll see you guys later. So hello guys, I just came downstairs. I'm about to cook. So as you can see, my kitchen is pretty clean right now. The counter is clean. And let me just make sure everything looks good before we start cooking. So yeah, everything is pretty clean right now. As you can see, that's the first thing before we start cooking is that we need a clean kitchen. Yeah, that's it. So, okay. So guys, um, let's see what I bought at the grocery store. Um, for the onion, pepper, red bell pepper, Ooh, tomato, mm, plantain, yeah, plantain. Planting. Um, some shrimp and my beef. So right here, guys, what I bought was shrimp, beef, tomato, red bell pepper and onion so my other materials are already in the house so i'll just show you along the way yeah i'm about to season all my meats i'm gonna clean up the shrimp let me get a bowl So 
So I'm gonna put this shrimp in there, in this bowl. Let me get the knife. Here's my beef. Let me just. I'm gonna cut. You guys see me? But do I have to push over? Yeah. This is the beef. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cut it into half. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna show it to you guys. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. By the way, um, today I'm making um, shrimp, beef, coconut, fried rice. Yes, I'm making shrimp and beef coconut fried rice. So, yeah. Okay. I just got back from work, and I'm um, I'm tired, but I'm like, okay, I like cooking, so I'll just cook. It's not a big deal. But realistically, I'm tired because this morning I posted my first YouTube video and for all the editing, I had to stay up all night up to like 3 a.m. And I had to be up this morning by 6 a.m. for work. So I'm a bit tired because of that. But however, I still feel the excitement for my first YouTube video. And I just feel, it feels so like, Oh, real <laughs> I cannot even believe that I actually put a YouTube video up today and the love the support is just very encouraging so I'm just very happy to be on this YouTube journey with you guys yeah I'm almost done Sorry guys, I'm taking a lot of time because I'm talking in between. But yeah, but I'm, I'm done cutting the meat. As you can see, this is the meat. This is the size of the meat right now. I just cut them into little pieces. I'm going to wash them off with the shrimp. And then I'm going to season it. Yes. I'm not a chef. Like I said, I love cooking. I'm very passionate about cooking. I'm not a chef though. I know I went to school for cooking. I went to school for something different <laughs> but I love cooking so let's let me wash this quick just washing this quick yeah wash this So I just washed the meat. Now I'm about to season it. Yes, I'm about to season it. Guys, you won't find me putting a lot of like like garlic in this kind of thing because I don't like garlic. I hate garlic, so yeah, but we're gonna put it. I have black pepper, so I'm gonna put some black pepper. Like a uh, Oh, let me get my spoon. This one, I'm gonna put like. Oh, 
like about half a spoon of black pepper into this yeah half a spoon of black pepper into this and I have some red chili pepper I'm going to put a little bit of that red chili pepper yeah like not half a spoon like less than half a spoon basically put as much as you can handle this is a hot pepper so put as much as you can handle I have my Maggie my Maggie yeah so I'm gonna put half a have a spoon to season this because I don't need much because I'm gonna have my ghee in the food anyway so I just need to season this I'm just I'm just gonna put this um half a spoon on this meat yeah. so this is how I look. Now I'm just gonna like stir it together to marinate. And I'm gonna let it sit to marinate what I what I cut the onion, the tomato, the pepper, and the coconut because I have some coconut like I said I'm making uh, coconut fried rice coconut shrimp beef fried rice yes so I'm gonna put this on the side and let it marinate yeah I just need a kitchen space so I'm gonna put it on this side now I'm gonna rinse this beef off to be able to cut my onions my tomato and my pepper bell pepper so it's clean right now here's my onion i'm just gonna wash it i'm just gonna step off on the side to wash it And I'm gonna cut it in half. Half. I'm gonna save this one. So I'm gonna put it on the side. And I'm gonna use this one. So I have this plastic bag to put my dart in. So I can. Cut the onion to your preference. Like it don't have to be perfect. It don't have to be like perfectly square or whatever shape. Just cut the onions. At the end of the day, it's gonna go in the pot, and yeah, it's not gonna be looking perfect. So yeah, but the food gonna taste good, perfect. That's that's what matters, right? Yep. Guys, you're gonna laugh at my own ears. <laughs> I'm not the best on your cutter, please. I beg. <laughs> oh my god. 
so. So the onion is done. I'm just gonna cut I got some pepper. I'm gonna cut it again. Half. I'm gonna use this half. I'm gonna keep this half. my trash here and then when I'm done I'm gonna take my trash into my trash bin right here on the side pepper so now it's the tomato time always make sure to cut your to wash off your um your vegetables like anything you buy from the grocery store always make sure you wash it before you cook it because you never know though biologically speaking if you cook it heat gonna kill all the bacteria everything that is like Every gems, he's gonna kill it. This is the coconut. I bought a whole coconut like about a week ago and I took it off the shell and I ate some and I was like, okay, I'm gonna use the rest for my uh, coconut shrimp fried rice. So this is not new. I just took this for all of my freezer. It's a, it's a bit frozen, but yeah, I'm gonna rinse it off and blend it according to my preference. Yeah. You can use, I usually like to use a mixture of um, fresh coconut and canned coconut, but you can use canned coconut or you can use fresh coconut. Yeah. Yeah. If you like natural, organic, you go with fresh. If you like a bit of artificial, you, know, like, you go with canned coconut. Yeah. Let me grab the blender quick. Cut this a bit with my knife and let the blender blend it a bit. So I have the coconut in here. I'm just gonna add a cup of water in it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get it in. So this is it. I don't have an adapter here, so I'm gonna go right here quick. And
wash. So this is my coconut blender coconut. So this is my rice. It's, it's a jasmine rice. I'm just gonna put a bit in the bowl to let it soak. You can put as much of the rice you want. Me, I, like I said, I'm not making much because I barely have appetite these days. In between, this is pandemic time. I'm trying to lose weight. Even though I haven't lost nothing, I've been gaining. <laughs> I've been eating and gaining. But I have to be careful. I have to lose weight. I cannot, I cannot lose my shape, you know. I cannot lose my shape, please. Just gotta let you guys know that one. So, I'm just gonna put water in this rice. This is like a... Actually, this is like a cup of rice. One cup of rice. I'm just gonna let it soak while I prepare my other um material. Put it right there. Let it soak. Now it's time to fry these fry the shrimp and the beef. Stir fry basically. Let me just turn the camera a bit so you guys can be able to see. Can you see? Okay, I'm eventually going to bring you, bring you guys closer to see the stir fry, but for now, I'm just going to put it up where it is so you guys can just see what I'm doing because it's a little difficult to be um, vlogging, putting my camera right over the fire is it's, it's dangerous, don't do that, it's dangerous, do not put your camera over the fire, do not, <laughs> safety first, safety, okay. Though we are trying to eat something like tasteable to enjoy our meal, we still have to stay a little bit healthy. So instead of regular ore, I'm gonna go with my avocado. My avocado ore. I gotta stay a little bit healthy. Like I said, I gotta stay, I gotta lose some pounds. Yeah. We have it, 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 we have it. Okay, guys, it's time to put this. Put this in the oil for it to stir fry. Yeah. Let me show you guys how it looks like right now. Let me wipe my hands and show you guys. I mean, I'm not gonna go closer because, like I said, your life is important than anything else because I don't want the fire. But as you can see, is yeah stir frying right now yes we are stir frying right now we are stir frying right now yep so um, let me put a bit I'll do three pots of pepper. You don't want your shrimp fried rice to be spicy. Three, maybe three is even a lot for you guys. Probably, if you don't use the pepper, just put one or even half of this one. Me, I put three because I can handle this three. Yeah, I can handle it. I don't even know if it will be that spicy, but you do not want your shrimp 
far rice to be spicy you know on that it should have spicy taste but not spicy to the point that you can even eat the meal yeah pepper spice spicy chili pepper or chili pepper bell, red bell pepper onions and a tomato all together yeah and my rice is still soaking and I still have my coconuts in here Wait for this sifter because that's how I'm going to sift my coconut sometimes I like to put the coconut in my rice but the right way is to sift your coconut and just use the water so I'm just letting the coconut to soak with this water so I can have everything, all the coconut juice in this water. So, yeah, everything is cooking up right now. My shrimp, my beef, it's looking good, yeah. So, yep. And I have onions my rice my yeah everything looks good shrimp and the beef looks good so now it's time for me to fry all of these ingredients I like to put a little bit of Maggie on my um, onions and tomato and bell pepper for like to salt it a bit. So you can just have that season a little bit. And just a pinch of this, of this Maggie. Yep, Maggie. Yeah, so just put a little bit, like about a pinch of your finger, yes. Don't put too much. And add it to my rice. Yeah, this is the life over. I'm gonna put my little bit of my ghee in it and a little bit of black pepper. Like I said, I'm not putting much in it because all my meat is already seasoned. Like my vegetable is seasoned, my meat is seasoned, so it's like everything already has seasoning in it. So I don't have to put much into the rice because everything is gonna come together and taste good. So I'm just going to cover this and let this cook for about 15 minutes and then I'll come back to make sure everything's okay. So I just um, 
added my shrimp and beef into this. So now I'm just stirring it. I just want to show you guys this. Let me just put the camera down and I will show you guys the finished product because I cannot be cooking and using the camera at the same time. Like I said, um, when I'm cooking, I don't like the kitchen to be dirty. So we have come to the end of this video. As you can see, my counter is clean. I'm just going to show you guys the final product of the food. So let me just grab me my utensil and I can show you guys the coconut shrimp fried rice so this is it so this is the food yes and trust me it tastes so good this coconut beef shrimp fried rice tastes so good it's just the perfect like seasoning in it and the perfect um spice in it not too much spice just the perfect spice so make sure you try this um cook this recipe it's not really a recipe just make sure you try this like cook with me coconut shrimp fried rice and i can definitely let you know that you love it so thank you for staying tuned to watch this video